Once it is done, you can see there are n number of options available on the left hand side basically that is event, sync option, list, filter, views, action, workspaces, record level security, view action security, performance and sync history. So we will be learning about Hello everyone, in this video we will be learning about a new object that is record type. How we will be using record type object in Appian to use that later on in our application. So let's have a few example over here. Right now you can see on your screen that we have certain record types that is repair item, collision repair, repair type, vehicle repair section and reference data. So in this video we will be learning about what exactly is a record type object and how we can create it a record type object using the sync enable option over here. So let me tell you that the record type object in Appian is a design object that helps you to structure and model your enterprise data. Imagine it as a way to organize your data into actionable records. For example, think about an employee record. You want to see the employee name, title, department, start date and other details as well. Plus, you might need to update or add new employee info. Appian records let you do that just like that. It's like creating a customized form of your data allowing users to access and relevant information. If you are new to this, we will help you with a tutorial that help a user to create a record type with data sync enable. Let's get started. So I'm on my build view for a, inside my application, which is a dummy application on the community environment right now. And I'll click on new over here and I'll select the record type object over here. So with respect to the application, I will be creating a maintenance table. So let's wait for a while. I'll mention it as maintenance table. Or you can say maintenance detail. Right? It will automatically take the uh, plural form of it in the display name and it is optional to provide the description for this record type right so i'll click on create over here right now and then later on i'll need to set up the security by default my security has been already configured as administrator uh, group as the administrative level permission and the user group as the viewer level permission so i'll click on save over here So once the record type object is open in your uh, new tab, basically, you need to map the data model over here. So it will first ask you about the data model part over here that uh, you need to get started. Like whatever, uh, what is the table which you want to map it to your record and to display about your data, right? And then we have the performance tab. There are more upcoming tabs once you set up the data model over here. So let's get started with this data model thing. So I'll click on tell us about your data. Right. And uh, there are basically four ways where I can, you know, map my data source. Either I can use a database table over here or I can map it to a process. I can map it to a Salesforce or I can map it via web service or integration basically. If none of the option is suitable for your application, if you want to create it from scratch basically, like you haven't decided what is your data table, right? Or there is no database configured yet. So if you want to create your records from scratch, you can use this option over here. Like I want to create from scratch and you can map the uh, design your database architecture over here in the record type object over here. But in this video, we will be learning how we can, you know, create a record type object with the help of a database table by selecting the data source type as the database. I'll click on next over here. So once uh, I have selected my data source, I will be asked for two options, whether I want to use the data sync over here and uh, I want to uh, use the sync feature or I don't want to use the sync and I want to disable the sync and its related feature. So basically, Data syncs work like uh, by caching your data source in Appian. It's like think of it as a you know cache memory in your web browser. 
it will create a cache data uh, in inside appian basically from your database source and it will reflect that data record types with the data uh, sync enabled are called sync record whereas the record type without the data sync enabled are called unsync record types based on your application requirement you can use a combination of sync and unsync record types to build your application so in this part we will be using our data sync enabled over here so i'll click on next over here now i need to select the table over here so as stated earlier i will be creating one maintenance table so i will select aa underscore maintenance which already has some data by default so once it is done i can click on next over here so coming on to the configuration for the source filter so while configuring the source filter that you need to decide that uh, if you want that data at all in your data source uh, from your data source basically and if you want to exclude that certain amount of data uh, from it let's say i want to uh, create a record type for the employee table uh, like uh, whose uh, inactive is true basically so i can create the source filter and by default appian will uh, appian record will have only that data where the is active uh, column like the value of the is active column is true so that's the difference over here and depending on whether your record type is data sync enabled the way you can filter your source data can vary like if you have sync uh, synced record type basically you can apply source filter but if you have a unsync record type then you need to apply default filter which we will be learning in the later video source filter basically allow you to specify which data is sync and available in the record type with source filter you can exclude the unnecessary data and even work with data source that would cause your record type to exceed the sync row limit so we can click on next over here to move further right now i don't want to um, create any filter over here while configuring the data source i need to map those source field basically to my record field these are the source field which are available and these are the record field so in case i want to you know change the name of the change the name and data type for them i can do that basically so right now i don't want to make any changes it is automatically uh, by default it's good so i'll click on finish over here once it is done you can see there are n number of options available on the left hand side basically that is event sync option list filter views action workspaces record level security view action security performance and sync history so we will be learning about them one by one so right now we'll click on save changes to see whether our record type object is created so if you want to access this record type by going on to your list view basically list tab over here and directly clicking on the link which is available over here uh, let me show you this is the link for the record uh, type which is available in the tempo right so you can directly click on the record type over here and uh, record link basically and it will open the record which uh, we have just now created so this is the maintenance details record which we have just now created and without any source filter i can see the data which is automatically synced to my record type from the database table that's all for this video and we will be discussing these options in the upcoming videos so thank you